Hi, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I just did a skincare video on the products that I've been using to make my skin so pretty lately. <laughs> I want to talk about just a few products that I've used over the last year uh, that just were... <laughs> so let's, let's start with that <laughs> or talk about that. Um, the first thing is a uh, cleanser. And as you can see, I used it all. But it did nothing. I don't even know why I used it all because I usually don't have the patience to keep using stuff that I don't feel is working. This is by the Garnier Skin Active. It's the refreshing mm -mm. facial cleanser. It's 99% naturally derived ingredients. Don't care because it didn't do anything. I mean, yes, it cleansed my skin, but it didn't clean all my makeup off. It uh, just <laughs> really thumbs down for that. I mean, simple, simple explanation did not work for me. Just once again, my skin is sensitive. I have lupus, which always affects your skin, either on your face, your body. That's what it is. And it just. I have to be careful so a lot of times I try to use like natural ingredients or stuff that doesn't have a lot of you know long list of things but that just did nothing nothing okay here's a little bit of a more uh, I think this is a clean brand it's the Wander Beauty it's hard to see that there we go that's the lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask all this did was hurt my skin when I pulled it off. Um, I'm not really into the peel off mask, but I have used some that were, I feel like at least my skin feels like tightened or brightened. Um, this did nothing, really nothing. And the writing is white and white on this color is so hard to see and I don't even use readers anymore. Did not like this thumbs down. I'm not going into a big explanation because it's just, you like it, you like it, you know? Okay, this I picked up at TJ Maxx. And I've been told not to pick up skincare products from there. But do I listen? No, I've been listening lately. This is the Body Prescriptives. I regret taking care of my skin, said no one ever. Hydrating, no. Rose Hip Clay Mask. Now I like clay masks. I've even used the ones from the drugstore. I forget what, there's a certain brand that like every drugstore has. And they at least do something for my skin. This just did nothing, nothing. There was no hydrating happening, nothing. So thumbs down for that. Now this product I got in a, uh, one of my prescription boxes. I never remember which one. Um, this is the Kai Pryor's Antioxidant. Skincare companies love to use that word. Do. And it's basically a serum that's supposed to make you quench and glow. Glow, glow, glow. I used about half of this bottle. About three quarters. Because I know you need to give this stuff time to see if it works. Vitamin C Serum by CeraVe that I talked about in my video about skincare favorites works like a thousand percent better than this. This just was like a tacky formula going on my skin. It felt heavy, like it felt it never really soaked into my skin. And then I went to look at the price tag just to see. And a little bottle like this is like 120 something like that. No, 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 no. Okay, another product that I heard about a lot and it does work for people, they don't like me. This is the jojoba oil. Now I heard you can use this on the skin, on the hair, I mean everywhere. It's just like greasy, nothing going on my skin. Did nothing. In fact, I started getting like, breakouts with this 
and it is, you know, non-GMO, fast absorbing. It says it's lightweight. It was lightweight, but it just didn't do anything. Not a thing. I mean, I even tried like putting on the ends of my hair. I would have been better just putting like water where that accent came from. I don't know. So yes, I'm sorry. This did not work for me. And like all, with all these products, if they work for you, that's great. That's great. It just for me, they didn't. Now, this was a product that was pretty pricey. And I actually used this two times. This is my second jar. I tried. I thought to myself, okay, let me see if this helps. Um, it's a potency bright and plump moisturizer. And it has 3% vitamin E, 2% ferulic acid, and 10% THD asorbate and then a bunch of other stuff. It's by T uh, Peter Thomas Roth and I have used some of his products before and they're terrific and this might be terrific for someone else but for me it was just I mean I didn't even touch much of the second jar I just couldn't I used this at night I, you know I use a tiny bit during the day and then I went and I tried all different ways of using this mainly I just used it at night I rubbed it in real good kind of gave my face a massage which I really like to do with any type of moisturizer or lotion that I use on my face but it just was too heavy 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 like throughout the night I would start to sweat and I could just like still feel it on my skin didn't like it and it smells sort of orangey and I've been told that when a product that's Bosley has vitamin or has vitamin C in it the vitamin C that's like pure and good for your skin doesn't have an orange scent it has like a like a non-favorable scent put it that way so yeah this Peter Thomas Roth potency bright and plump moisture not for me not for me so those were the products that I used that were no no for my skin like I said before if they work for you that's great I mean I'm happy for you but they just didn't work for me and I'm going more with a lighter feel on my skin like lotions things that say lightweight are my best friends um, especially even the weather that I, you know the area I live in is semi-tropical we have really really warm and high humidity uh, many months of the year and I'm not walking around or even going to bed at night with a thick goopy thing on my face because it just doesn't work for me oh I thought of another one that's just laying here that I was ready to throw out this I feel bad because a lot of people love this but for me I felt like I didn't have any protection okay just a quick explanation I will make it quick because I have lupus and a lot of people with lupus, we get what's called photosensitivity. And no, I'm not afraid of taking pictures. <laughs> but when we go out in the sun, our skins react in either rashes. I used to get rashes like in my forearm here. Um, or we get hyperpigmentation like that. And it doesn't take like years. So... We need to find SPFs that really have that protection for us or else we're going to be battling, taking, trying to get that hyper, hyperpigmentation, those dark spots away or lighten them. I feel bad even showing this. This is by Supergoop. It's such a product that people love and it's the Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. It's water resistant and sweat resistant. Now I can't attest to the water because I didn't use this like, I don't really go to the beach during the day because of the sun and I haven't been in a pool in a long time. So I can't say if that, but the sweat resistant, I can say yes, it did. I went to Disney World and I had this on and I reapplied and it, it didn't sweat off, but a couple days after coming home from Disney World, I had some spots here. This did not protect me. This did not, and then it's SPF, P-A plus, plus, plus. 
but for some reason I don't know they must have something in here that kind of makes me or anyone not totally protective of the Sun and I and I, it's a shame because it's sort of like um put some on my back of my hand it's sort of like a thicker um, primer has no tint it sort of feels now that I'm putting this on again like a real light Vaseline but it doesn't feel greasy it just doesn't it didn't protect me it didn't protect me not. and I need sun protection even here sitting where the Sun is coming I have to have SPF on my face especially especially should be all over my body and sometimes I will say that I don't always put it all over but I put it on my face I put it on my neck and it didn't work didn't survive the Disney World test so those were the products that didn't work for me for skincare. Thumbs down. Um, I hope that you're having a great day. And remember to think about something that you're grateful for in your life or a blessing. And it'll help your days to be better. Now, we're not always Miss Mary Sunshine, but it helps. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.